Hello YouTube. I'm back again. Today I want to talk about uh being part of a convoy. Okay. If you give up hope and everything is lost and you decide that uh I'm just going to leave and 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 get evacuated, you know, with the rest of the people and uh and you need to be with the rest of the people because you're handicapped and you really can't Go out there and move along on your own, or you're sick, or you're young, and and uh, for some strange reason you got to go. Maybe it's uh, wildfires or an earthquake and uh, a volcano. Who knows? I mean, it could be tornadoes or hurricane. And the hurricanes do move a lot of people from the Carolinas and the Floridas and uh, stuff like that. In Texas, they make them evacuate. And let's say you're part of a a refugee convoy, that's what I'm going to call it, because that's what you are, because there's no, uh, none, nothing to guarantee that you're going to come back to what you left, okay? It's it's like they say, you get your inch back, you know, I'm never coming home back, because it might not be anything to come back home to, so now you're part of a refugee convoy. And, uh, you got to be, uh, how, could I, how should I say this, uh, weary you know what i mean because i mean it's gonna be a difficult thing and you might be in with a bunch of people that you don't know which you probably will be but if your group happened to be able to stay together i mean if you got a group maybe 10 12 people and y'all be able to stay together then that's very good because you know in that convoy you you probably gonna have wolves and coyotes so not marauders but wolves and coyotes that will prey on the weak in the convoy i mean because you're now refugees Okay, uh, I want to say something real quick. Uh, the other day, I was going through my uh, YouTube channel and I was checking my uh, comments. And I got this notification that I had a whole bunch, over a hundred comments that I never received until uh, that day. I mean, it was from like seven, eight months ago. I got all these comments that I had to catch up on. And uh, it was from uh, YouTube, and they, they were saying that they uh, they they held these comments because they had potentially inappropriate comments. You know, they were inappropriate for some strange reason. I have no idea. And I read the comments because I replied to all the comments. I replied to everybody. And, and believe me, it was nothing in there that haven't been said already. And, and I don't know what kind of stuff is going on, why they would hold a over a hundred comments from my channel and uh and i see where i had a bunch of people deleted off my thing and i don't know why because i never delete anybody you know so it, it's just some strange stuff going on i just wanted to mention that in case uh you think i neglected you or anything like that with the comments it's not true okay and another thing um ryan jeske of prescott caliber club he did this thing with this portable 12 volt cooler and a Kodiak solar generator and he let this thing run I mean it's a freezer it's a portable freezer it's called an ice coal and he let this thing run with this portable generator this portable Kodiak 12 volt and he never charged it up he just charged it up once and let it run to see how long it would run that thing ran 33 hours on one charge I mean this is a freezer in a refrigerator it's not it's like cooler size it's not jumbo but i just wanted to mention that because if you disabled and you on some kind of medicine that has to be refrigerated or cold that's a good start right there i mean plus it's portable that's what i really like about it. i'm not talking about one of them home that you could put in uh, a student's uh apartment or a room i'm talking about something that if you have to get up and go that whenever you make camp you know, you can use the generator and stuff to charge it up and you keep your insulin or whatever else you need cold, your medicine cold. And I th thought I'd mention that and I'd uh, like to give uh, Ryan a shout out. He's a really good guy. I like his videos. Um, and another thing I wanted to mention because before I get back on track is uh, something that uh, everybody should know. I was watching a Midwest Prepper video the other day and he was saying that he had a friend in Texas and that people were coming to his house asking him about 
I'm gonna say I'm gonna say basically his weapons. You know, they wanted to go in the house and see what kind of stuff he had. He wouldn't let them in because they showed some kind of ID that didn't make any sense to me. Because like I said, the only person gonna come to your house and do something like that is Homeland Security. And he said he said it was from home. So you can check it out. His video is posted. That's uh, Midwest Prepper. All right, but let me get back on, on the convoy thing, and I just want to make this short. Okay, so if you got to get the place by, uh, let's say, natural disaster, rain, flood, I um, mean, it could be dust storms, it could be anything, and you in a group, and you you guys are out there, and uh, you're on the trail, uh, I mean, it could be, you know, terrible out there, because you now remember this convoy, like them people that was coming up from Venezuela, and you, and, uh, you guys, let's say, you, you guys heading up from... Uh, Georgia, maybe you got to go to Maine or something like that. You usually got two trips, to, I mean, two trails to take. You can take the, the, the national freeways, you know, the interstate system, or you can go to Appalachian Trail, whichever you might think safer. But I'm just saying, uh, since 80% uh, of the people in America lives in urban areas, it could happen. I mean, you could be on the freeway. You could be part of a convoy. But they could be evacuating the cities. Out of, maybe it's because of a radiation thing. You know, who knows? It could be anything. But if you get, if you happen to have to evacuate, and you have happen to be part of, like I say, a refugee convoy, and there's no chance of you ever coming home. I, I feel sorry for you because there's nothing I can tell you to do. Only thing I can tell you to do is that I know it's going to be a difficult, like I say, difficult thing to do, but you're going to be a part of a convoy. Don't be an easy target in that convoy. Understand everything that's around you. Don't, don't, uh, what, phone threw me off. Don't, uh, stray. Stay in the group. Everybody stay in the group because eventually you'll get to where you're going. I mean, I don't have no idea where they would take you if it's a government convoy, which I doubt it because they would get come and get you in trucks and take you straight to cattle cars. I guess I have no idea. That's what people say. I have no idea because they, I, I have, like I say, I haven't seen any FEMA camps, but if things go bad, they will put you in something. You know, they will create something, you know. Like I said once before, they was talking about creating something for people in California in case the big one hit and they were going to take them to Arizona and put them in these camps. So I'm just saying, I mean, I just really wanted to just basically tell everybody about uh, if worse come to worse and you got no hope and everything is falling apart and you got to get on the road. I mean, everybody that already left that's going to bug out. I mean, and the rest of us. You know, we hang in there as long as we can, but the government is coming in, going door to door, forcing us out. You know, they militarize the police and everything, and they they making everybody leave, and they 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 not taking us. They just making you get out, and they and they putting you on the road, and now you a refugee. I'm just saying, stay in your group. Don't stray. Stay together, and uh, who knows what might be at the end of the tunnel. And that's all I wanted to say because it's gonna be dangerous. I mean, maybe people got. But more to say out there, but uh, I just wanted to put that stuff out there. Uh, thank you, YouTube.